From the minds of animator Michel Gagné and the developers at Fuel Cell, insanely twisted Shadow Planet paints a vision of an alien sun transformed by interstellar infection. Should you jump into the pilot seat to search its bizarre depths, or keep your feet on solid ground? Aside from a brief introduction on the protagonist's homeworld, Shadow Planet's three to four hour campaign spans a single sprawling map. Like Metroid, you progress by finding new abilities that allow you to open paths through ice caves, oceans, and factories, all hiding new tools, upgrades, and imaginative creatures. You're encouraged to find all the items and explore every bit of the world, but unfortunately there's no mini-map displayed on the main screen. This means you have to frequently pop into the menu to plot your course, and you'll invariably find yourself backtracking to check out side passages you've missed along the way. In addition to the campaign, there's a mode called Lantern Run, which you play alone or with up to four players locally or online. While fleeing the jaws of an unstoppable monster, your group has to carry lanterns through randomly assembled challenges filled with enemies and obstacles. You have a limited arsenal to match the frantic pace, and your group needs to distribute weapons and upgrades evenly if you want to survive. Shadow Planet's gameplay lies in exploration and solving environmental puzzles, using the various attachments you find for your ship. There are nine tools in all, including an upgradable gun, a saw to cut through loose rock, and remote control missiles. Some are barely explored, like the shield, which is only needed to pass through a single area, but the claw gets the most work by far. You'll frequently find boulders to haul, bulky jellyfish to lift with the help of bubbles, and branches to snag onto in order to keep from blowing away in the wind. Using the claw for simple tasks works well, but it's awkward for more precise jobs, like plugging crystals into sockets. And this isn't helped by a bug that can make the sockets stop functioning correctly. However, despite a few issues with the interface, Shadow Planet does a great job of presenting fresh new situations and puzzle mechanics to keep the cogs turning in your brain. With its imaginative imagery and creepy creatures, Shadow Planet's odd environments are a joy to explore. The stark audioscape evokes a sense of isolation, avoiding catchy tunes in favor of distinctive sound effects that carry weight and meaning. Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet draws you into its unfamiliar terrain with a great sense of atmosphere and fosters experimentation with varied tools and fascinating situations. It's a fairly brief excursion, but it's worth the journey. Thank <laughs> you.